My name is Gil Quinones. I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer of the New York Power Authority. Well, I, I'm very proud of my heritage. I'm a very proud uh, Filipino-American. I'm probably the first uh, president and CEO of any utility uh, who is a Filipino-American in the United States. I'm proud of that and maybe one of the very few Asian-Americans uh, who are or who have been president and CEOs of utilities here in the United States. But I think what's, what's more important is uh, being a leader and inspiring a shared vision and showing results and performing well uh, as president and CEO. Well, at NIPA, I've been CEO since September uh, 2011. Uh, it's been a great ride uh, so far and still continuing. We have modernized our generation assets, largely large hydroelectric power plants, and now we're on our way to modernizing our transmission system. The New York Power Authority owns a third of the high voltage transmission system in New York State, and we are modernizing them, making them smart so that they are flexible, reliable, and connected. And uh, that is in preparation for the transformation that's going on in our industry where the grid is going to be more distributed than centralized. And uh, we're excited about that. And the Power Authority is on its way of being ready to serve its customers over the next 40 to 50 years. Well, in New York, I must say Governor Cuomo has done a tremendous job in leading and setting the right environment for, again, making New York the center of energy innovation. New York is the birthplace of the first power plant in Lower Manhattan. It is also the place where the first transmission of electricity occurred from Niagara Falls to Buffalo. And under Governor Cuomo's leadership, we are poised once again to lead in this next era of transformation of the utility industry from a more centralized system to an integrated grid, a smart centralized system connected to a more distributed and renewable-based energy system. Well, two trends are first, customer choice. I believe that customer behavior and customer preferences is changing. And changes in regulation and technology innovation uh, are also driving the fundamental changes occurring now in our industry, transforming it from a centralized one-way power flow electric system to a multi-way internet-like uh, power system or grid. Uh, again, I call it the integrated grid. In New York, we have instituted a regulatory proceeding and an energy policy agenda called REV, Reforming the Energy Vision. It is really about fundamentally changing the business model of the electric utility industry. It's changing how we compensate utilities, how we incentivize utilities so that they foster a more integrated grid, a smarter centralized system connected to a distributed uh, energy system. We are leveraging changes in technology. We are integrating more renewable energy resources to reduce emissions and to address climate change. And most importantly, we're putting the customer in the middle. 
we're putting the customer and addressing the needs of the customer and providing maximum value to the customer as this industry evolves. Well, the best method really for engaging customers and NIPA customers with energy efficiency is by working very closely with them and addressing their needs. At NIPA, we have done between 200 and 250 million dollars in energy efficiency projects every year for the past decade. And we've, what we find that works really well in New York is when we work with our customers every step of the way. We provide turnkey energy efficiency services, including low-cost financing. And we make it simple, we make it easy for our customers to participate in our energy efficiency program, helping them lower their utility costs, helping them address their environmental needs, and making their work environments more productive. And when you address all those three things with the customer, that's the best way to engage them. For example, we have done a project recently at the New York State Museum, and we replace all of their lighting with LED, saving a lot of money, better lighting for the museum, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions altogether. And so it's a great project. That's just an, one of many, many examples. We do over 100 energy efficiency projects with state facilities, city buildings, uh, buildings in counties and towns and villages all across New York, upstate, downstate, western New York, eastern New York. And uh, we are happy to report and we are pleased to, to say that uh, it's been one of the most successful programs here at the New York Power Authority. Well, I think the next greatest challenge in energy is to transform the grid from the current centralized one-way power flow system to the integrated grid where you have a central, smart central system connected to a more distributed resource-based system, including integration of renewable. What makes it more complicated nowadays is the issue of cyber and physical security layered on top all of those changes that I just have outlined. And I think that is the challenge for leaders like me, uh, utilities like the New York Power Authority. But I am optimistic that we have the right people, uh, we will have the right technologies, and we will do the innovation necessary to continue to serve customers in a safe, reliable, uh, cost-effective, and environmentally responsible way.